go. Hey guys, I want to catch some sheep's head today. Don't have any bait and it's high tide, so I'm gonna have to go swimming. A few safety items I'm gonna need. I always wear gloves. Uh, I wear two on each hand because I am grabbing these sea urchins off the wall and you're gonna you're gonna get to see that. We're going underwater today. Get a nice set of fins. It's gonna give you a lot of maneuverability in the water. Have a nice mask. Actually, this one right here. Um, you know, spend spend a look, few extra bucks and get a, a decent quality mask. And I do have a bucket that's gonna float. Just put a couple pool noodles on there and we're gonna be in business. Let's go ahead and get started. one all right it's the only thing i've caught today so we're keeping this
Always wanted to try one of those. Finally get a chance. Pretty quick and easy to get these sea urchins. The bait's there, you just gotta go get it. Let's see if anything's chewing on them. Swallowed that one. Just let it sit there. He swallowed it. Got that little hook on there, that two lock. Pretty little fish. Alright, well, we got, we've got dinner. Slow one today, guys, but we did get that octopus. I think we go back to the house and cook it up. Stay tuned. So we're gonna go ahead and clean this guy. Here's his eyes right here in his head. I'm gonna go ahead and cut all this off right here. You can just feel right where it separates. And I do know you can eat uh, the head, but that's for a different day. And then we're gonna push out the beak. And there it is. And everything's cleaned out. And we're ready to go. I've already rinsed it. So we're gonna put this right into our instant pot. We're gonna go one cup of water for 15 minutes. Um, we, I'm gonna add some kosher salt to that. See you in 15 minutes. So another way to cook octopus is to simmer it in water for about 45 minutes to an hour or until it's tender. But I have a pressure cooker, so I'm gonna save some time. All right, let's take a peek. There she is. Slice this thing up. What you're seeing there is just the uh, the outside skin. That's warming up. I'm gonna go ahead and season these. I've already done salt, so I'm gonna do some black pepper. And some smoked paprika. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these one more time. Got the pan hot, we'll go ahead and sear these. Starting to get a pretty good char going. It's been about, I don't know, eight or 10 minutes. And these are about done. 
these on a plate. There they are. Looking good. Feels like it's tender, but we're gonna have a taste test here in just a minute and we'll figure it out. Octopus are cephalopods, so they're closely related to squid, and I do love squid and calamari. So, I should like this. Let's give it a go. Um, it's a little bit chewy, um, it has a great flavor. Hey, Braden, you want to try some octopus? Come on. All right, the true taste test. Dip it in some soy sauce? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is good. <laughs> Isn't it good? It's got a great flavor. Oh my gosh. You know what's really good? Grab one of these. They're crunchy. Mm, I <laughs> well, it's a little bit chewy like beef jerky, but mm. I put that sear to it so it's got that crunch on the outside. Mm. What do you think? That's so good. Yeah. That's so good. Yeah, we'll keep a few of these from now, from time to time. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I like gosh. it. All right, that that'll so do it. Good. Thanks. Well, there you have it, folks. Seared octopus. Mm. One of my new favorites.